Hey Vault Dwellers, JV here, and today I'm sharing my Gunslinger pistol build for Fallout 76. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more Fallout 76 videos just like this. Since the second and third beta tests are happening this weekend, I wanted to share a fairly strong early game build that actually works. When you talk about builds, it's a bit of a struggle because sometimes you don't hit those very important perks for a build until later on. But it just so happens that for this playstyle, it specializes in scoped pistols. You get a collection of perks that directly affects them very early. You could take advantage of this within the first few hours of the game. The result is an accuracy and range-based VATS pistol build that will allow you to deal a lot of damage. However, please keep in mind that this build is almost entirely focused in combat. Survival-based perks are an afterthought. Let's start with the four primary perks to this build. Gunrunner, Gunslinger, Crackshot, and Pack in Light. Gunrunner is an agility card unlocked at level 4 and increases your run speed by 10% when you have a pistol equipped. Run speed doesn't directly affect your character, but it certainly helps in making you more efficient while questing. And let's be honest, getting from point A to point B faster is nice, and you'll never not have a pistol equipped with this build. Gunslinger is an agility card unlocked at level 6 and increases your non-automatic pistol damage by 10%. This is our direct damage perk and is core to any semi-automatic pistol build. Crackshot is a perception card unlocked at level 7 and increases the range and accuracy on scoped pistols by 10%. This narrows our focus down even further to scoped non-automatic pistols. Finally, we have Pack and Light, another agility card unlocked at level 9 that makes your pistols weigh 25% less. I value this because while you'd like to stick to a scoped 44 Magnum at all times, in reality, you'll run out of ammo. It's a good idea to keep two or three scoped semi-auto pistols handy in a variety of calibers. Moving on to the secondary perks that benefit this build, Concentrated Fire and Action Boy. The extra range and accuracy from Crackshot combines perfectly with Concentrated Fire and will make going for headshots well worth your while. Action Boy is simply a fantastic combat card that I'll probably recommend on every single build that I ever make. Other perk recommendations to fill out your build, Inspirational, Lone Wanderer, and Scrounger. I would take Inspirational if you plan to play with others, it's just a good idea. Lone Wanderer gives you great bonuses if you're playing alone. Just make sure not to run this if you're rolling with people or else it's useless. And then finally, Scrounger is just nice to have for those more rare ammo types that you're going to find out in the world. 44, just like I already mentioned, is rare, and it's a little difficult to make with crafting materials, so Scrounger is going to help you out with that. Let's talk about special. I'm not going to give you guys a strict level by level. You should take this perk and then this perk and then this perk. I don't think you need to do that in Fallout 76, but at level 10, you'll have nine points to spend for your special. Most of those should go towards agility, since that's where many of our primary perks are. My recommended point spread is 1 Strength, 3 Perception, 1 Endurance, 2 Charisma, 2 Intelligence, 5 Agility, and 2 Luck. We're leaving Strength at 1 because Pack and Light sort of offsets, it exchanges the increased carry weight you would get from an extra point in Strength, which also gives us more action points with the Agility point that we need to run it instead, if that makes sense. 3 Perception allows us to take Crack Shot, which is at the core of this build, and put it at rank 2 in addition to Concentrated Fire. So that's increasing that range and accuracy bonus to 20%, which is fairly significant in the early game. And then obviously, increasing Perception gives you the pass bonus of increased VATS accuracy. We're going to be using VATS in this build, so that just makes sense. We're leaving Endurance at 1 since there's no specific value to our build in any of these perk cards, so you don't really need to increase this. We're putting one extra point into Charisma for Lone Wanderer because AP regen is super helpful when you're alone, and then Inspirational, you could even bump that out to two ranks if you are going to be playing exclusively with friends. That'll ensure that you're maximizing your experience, which is great for any you know build or playstyle. We're putting two points into Intelligence for crafting and durability of scoped weapons, which reduces definitely going to be doing with this build. Most of the time you're going to be having to put like a reflex sight onto a pistol in order to activate crack shots. So you're going to be doing some crafting and that's helpful. We're dumping five points into agility for all of those primary perks that we mentioned towards the beginning of the video, but also taking an extra point to bump Gunslinger to rank two, which will give you a 15% damage boost with those non-automatic pistols. Finally, that one extra point in luck is just to bump up that critical recharge rate a little bit. It's not for any specific perks. I didn't mention any luck-based perks as a focus for this build because there really aren't any. I did mention Scrounger. You could throw another one in there or level up Scrounger, but I do like the extra critical recharge rate. We all know how strong luck was for VATS in Fallout 4, and I expect the same in this game. 
My weapon recommendations are fairly light just because I don't have enough experience with the game, but what I did run across in my limited playtime were the 44 pistol, the 10 millimeter pistol, and the laser pistol. I would prioritize the 44 as it gives the most damage per shot of the bunch and kind of levels out the rest of the stats. Then the laser pistol, which offers the best combination of damage, range, accuracy, and fire rate. And then finally, having a decked out 10 millimeter is handy as well. It's another all around solid option that's gonna be better than the pipe alternatives. Of course, this should be obvious in order to take advantage of the perks, make sure these are not automatic, number one. And then number two, make sure they are sighted. Put a reflex sight on this. That's one of the cheapest sights and mods you can throw on a pistol. Very affordable in the early game. It's something you should be able to do immediately. Side note, if you stick to the story, I couldn't pinpoint exactly where I got this. You will get a hardened snub nose 44 pistol called the Somerset Special. I believe this is a legendary slash unique weapon. I'm not 100% sure on the specifics of that. I'll know more when I'm able to play more of the game, but I do know that you're gonna run into this pistol and this is fantastic for this build. This is exactly what you want. Just some closing thoughts. I intentionally left this build a little open-ended because we're really early, if I'm being honest. I only have a few hours of beta play time, so I can't give you, you know, a super informed build at this moment in time. And also to allow some personal preference choices for you guys. You're always going to have one cost perk cards filling out your dump specials, so it's good to find perks like Traveling Pharmacy or Pack Rat that help you in other areas of the game besides combat. And if you'd like to copy my exact build, I've created one over on Nukes and Dragons. I've left a Nukes and Dragons build planner link in the description below so you can see exactly what I took in terms of perks for a level 10 build. Our Vault 2017 tip of the day is to scrap unused weapons and armor to unlock mods. Like in every Fallout game, you'll constantly find new items that you won't be using. Take these to a workbench and break them down into their junk components. This process will unlock new mods that will allow you to customize and unlock the full potential of your existing gear. In the comment section, tell me which other perks you'd take with this build. Share your thoughts below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe and hit the bell for more Fallout 76 content like my last video where we discussed leveling basics. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.